Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Let's Play of The Lies of P. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we're going to continue our adventure through the city of Krat. But before we do, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And I did a couple of things. Number one, I leveled up my sword. And I put on the fire axe. I also went ahead and leveled up. So I have 17 across the board from vitality, vigor, capacity, motivity, and technique. Apparently, capacity is a little more important than I thought it was. Uh, because I was extremely overweight when I put on the fire axe. I also went ahead and figured out the whole P organ system. Which once we get back to Hotel Crot, I will explain that a little better. When you're putting your P organs on and you want to go to that second skill. If you hit R1, it'll move you over. There's different skills you can put on. And I'll, I'll, again, I'll go over that a little more once we actually go back to Hotel Crot. But that's what I did off screen. Sorry if everybody wanted to see me do that. I apologize. Um, I'll try not to do that very often, but I just wanted to figure out that P organ. All right, now that that's all been said, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, easy now. No need to kill me. Surely we can discuss this like reasonable people? Hold on. Geppetto's a friend of yours. Did he send you? I, I'm, I, I'm fine. Please, help me find my butler Pulcinella. He's a puppet and a friend. Those stalkers were supposed to be working for me, but... Uh, well, they bolted and left me to my fate. That was not helpful. My butler went to barricade the back door, and I haven't seen him since. Pulcinella has been a loyal companion. I'd hate to lose him. The factory is, of course, my priority. We must take it back. But please, keep an eye out for my... for my butler. I'd consider it a personal favor and owe you in kind. Before all this, uh, this chaos, Fuoco was the puppet in charge of the furnace. But he changed. He was a stand-up fellow once. Now, not so much. I'm told he's still building an army of puppets and marching them on the cathedral. How did this nightmare come to be? Please, you must stop him before he does any more harm. You got anything else to say? Before all this, uh, I'm told... How did he... He doesn't have anything else to say. Just wanted to make sure I exhausted dialogue. I always like to do that in any Souls game that I'm playing, or Souls-like game. See how well our hand axe does here. Ouch. I'm getting my ass handed to me. Oh, I'm dead. Getting past that bastard is rough. A 
At least my ergo is right here. I do have two pulse cells, but I'm not going to use them. Not unless I get him low enough health and then hit him with them. Come on, bud. Bring it on. Ah, oh, thought I had it that time. Stop it. Trying to heal. And I went over there <laughs> just to get hit. I want to get these guys' his, uh, timing down. Alright, let's go rest at the Stargazer. I'm out of pulse cells. No, fuck off, bud. We're gonna kill this guy if this is the last thing we do. The other dude didn't seem too hard. Maybe I just wasn't feeling as rusty. Oh, come on. Oh, man, that guy was, whew, he was tough. Well, we got him in the end. Let's uh, rest at the Stargazer. Hopefully he does not respawn. I don't think he will. I think he's more of a one-off enemy. But we will see, I suppose. I want those items over there as well. But I want to take care of the enemies down here. So take care of all these enemies. And then we'll go up to the top again and work on... Getting some of the items up there.
This axe is pretty beefy too. I really like the damage output. Although I'm going to switch back and forth, which I press right on the D-pad uh, between my axe and my um, saber. Oh, getting across there is going to be fun. I can already tell. Okay, I thought that was a puppet for a second. All right. Wasn't as hard as I thought, but uh, the item up here was not worth it. Just gonna say that. Is there anything else to do up here? Can we turn these? No. Start making our way down here. Oh, this is a boss fight for sure. We have plenty of star fragments. We're going to go ahead and use one for sure. Okay, so he's got a gun or something. Either it's a flamethrower or it's a gun. Um, hey, you 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 want to Ow? Oh, oh! He is messing my dude up. Oh no! Oh no! That was not good. Ow.
not stagger this dude. Yes, please. Holy shit, my first try. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. I did not think I was going to win that on my first try. Legit. Let's rest at this stargazer. Go ahead and continue on forward. Oh, you know what? Before we continue on for forward, let's go talk to Vanini. Vanini, I think it is. Hell, in the demo, I was calling him Vinagini. I, I am so bad with names. Got some vivid ergo. Another star fragment, go figure. I have so many of those things. They should at least let you sell them. I mean, 70? I mean, give it, I am grinding quite a bit too, so I don't think they expected people to grind out some ergo. Ah, you're back. And you found, oh dear, Pulcinella. They really did a number on you. Pulcinella was proof that puppets possess true courage. I will not rest until I have revived him. But there will be ample time for that. First, I must thank you for a truly heroic piece of work. The factory is ours again. The puppets are going to be in really bad shape after this. Let us return to the hotel and rest while we can. I cannot shake the thought of that puppet army. What they meant to do. The cathedral is filled with refugees. People who thought they were safe. But as for the future to solve, maintenance must come first. See you at Hotel Krat. Arrivederci. He is definitely more Italian than he is French. Which I believe, and I, I could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure Pinocchio, the author, was Italian and not uh, French. I'm just backtracking here just a little bit. And real fast. Oh, I did start leveling up the salamander dagger. But I don't know if I'm going to use it. I just like that it's got a uh, fire element to it. I really like these two. The saber and the fire axe. Is it here? Yes. Hmm... I don't know. No, no, I'm not going to use that. I 
I will use this because this is an overall upgrade, just a little heavier, that's all. Okay, now let's go ahead and continue on. What do we have here? A broken butler puppet. Now, I seem to remember someone on the second floor. Think it belongs to him? We gotta ask what happened sometime. Now's good. Um, man, I know I'm going back and forth here, but I just want to make sure he doesn't have any new dialogue because we just had a conversation with Jiminy. I apologize, everybody. Just don't like to leave any stone unturned, if possible. I cannot shake the thought, but that's for the future. Okay, so no, he he has no new dialogue. I guess it doesn't matter if you go over to the butler's puppet corpse and see it or not. He's still going to know that his butler is pretty messed up. Let's continue forward, everybody. That is explosive for sure. Fire canister. Hopefully nothing attacks me. I want to see what this fire canister is. Okay. Kind of the same thing as the electric canister. Star fragment. Yeah, I know you're alive. Dumbass.
I bet that's going to be more of a strength weapon, that big pipe wrench. As soon as I grabbed that item, I was like, man, I just messed up. Ooh, Dark Moon Stone Covenant? Is that what that said? Let's see what that is. Upgrade special weapons to plus three. So yeah, we're going to get some special boss weapons. I am certain of that now. more hidden moonstones which is just fine lets me level up that salamander dagger because I'm doing a quality build I can use some of the quote unquote dex items so we'll see how the uh, salamander Salamander dagger works out. Jeez, Mr. Wayne. Words, am I right? Words. Oh, one of these guys again. Well, I have an idea. Maybe. We might run past him if we can. Please, nothing run me over. Okay, thank you. Yes. All right. Cool. Here's a stargazer. I just don't want to fight through all those enemies again and then... Good lord. I'm dead. Dude, we almost had him that time. He's just... It's like... They're so fucking beefy for no reason. Come on. Come on, you son of a bitch.
Oh, come on. Gonna do it this time? Oh, thank Jeebus. These bodies could they be from Moonlight Town? Whoa, did puppets do this? So we're not going to go any further there. And we picked up a carrying amulet. And I'm going to assume that's going to upgrade our carry capacity. Let's go over to Hotel Krat. Since we spent a million years over <laughs> um, trying to kill that enemy. my savior glad to see you made it back in one piece my friend there you are my boy my savior yes that's the word you took back the factory and I cannot thank you enough without the factory no more new puppets the army has run out of recruits my friend you saved well all of us. Ah, but listen to me going on and on about my concerns and I don't believe I've even introduced myself. Signor Lorentini Venigni, gentlemen, bon vivant, and at the moment, utterly at your service, my friend. If the name Venigni rings no bells, perhaps you've heard of Kratz, Prince of High Society. That is because they are one and the same. Just two of the many names I've collected in my three decades here on Earth. While I sincerely believe meeting Venigni is its own reward, I have not rewarded you in the more uh, traditional manner. Please, take this. My newest prototype. It'll be safe with you. It's a grinder stone that keeps granting special attributes to the grinder. I hope you'll put it to good use. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like it a lot. Amatsa, that is one slick prototype. You think it's a tram for crickets? Amatsa, you think it's a train? Felicitous salutations, my friends. My name is Signor Lorenzini Venigni. No doubt my reputation precedes me. I come to you with only the most peaceful intentions, and as a true friend of craft. Behold, Venigni works, where we will honor the city of Kraat's history while forging her brilliant future. When I broke ground on this place, we broke ground. I certainly didn't do it all personally. This was a simply empty space, a blank canvas. But in the hands of a maestro, it became a work of art. All my life, from boyhood to this very day, I have been derided for my, let's say, single-minded focus on a lifelong obsession with building animated automatic autonomous automata. But today, just look before you. Venini Works is ready to start building the future. Kratz's golden era is waiting to be built. A dream of the future. 
function we can only create together. Help me make this future come true. Join us, for this moment in history will happen only once. Join Venini, your friend for life. Talk to the butler. Buongiorno, and welcome to the house of Vanini. I am Master Vanini's Major Domo, Pulcinella, at your service, sir. The house of Vanini carries only the finest in luxury merchandise. I believe you'll find all items to be both superior quality and distinguished provenance. I am certain you will be able to find something that suits you, sir. At the House of Vanini, even priceless things have a price. Every item is a treasure of distinguished quality and superior provenance. Oh, cool. We have some cranks. Let's just buy all this. Talk to Eugenie. I know my way around a weapon. Nothing new to say. Wait just one moment. Is that not my legion armor? Ah, then my eyes do not deceive me. I never imagined I'd actually see it again, and in the flesh, so to speak. I just designed it, set it aside, and never got back to it. Genius and the claim can keep one quite preoccupied, I'm afraid. You are really interested in the arm, I see. Then, my friend, you shall have it. It just needs a few mechanical adjustments to fit your um, particular needs. And frankly, this design is almost child's play to me now, so let's start by making it a bit stronger, shall we? I will also add what we brilliant inventors call modularity. That means it will be much easier to improve and repair since you'll be able to use commonly found parts. You might say this arm's new abilities are... Uh, legion! <laughs> no? Too much? It was too much. I always welcome friends. May I be of service? Oh, okay. We'll put the... Let's put flame on. Of course you're curious. Pulcinella has been restored thanks to you. In a small way. Mostly it was me, but uh, you know, genius never rests. Except for beauty rest. <laughs> Pulcinella isn't just my butler, he's my family. The only one I have left, really. I won't forget what you've done for us. If you ever need anything or find yourself in a spot of trouble, call on your friend Venigni. I always welcome friends. No one. Not even I know what started the puppet frenzy. Why? That day of all days... Ah, it was horrible. A violent rampage of murder and mayhem that is seared into my memory for all time. And it was never supposed to happen again. I made sure of it. Designed a few special parts to ensure they'd remain loyal. Puppet armies do not arise by chance. There was intent behind this. I don't want to leap to conclusions, but... The only one I know with that kind of power 
is the king of puppets himself. I... We need to learn how this happened. Let's go over here, check this out for a second. Oh, cool. Wow, there's a lot of cool stuff here. Huh. Okay, hopefully that'll help us out a little bit. We're going to get ready to end the video over here. When we come back, I will uh, go up to the top where the P organ is and explain a little more on that. See if there's anybody else we can talk to here in Hotel Krat. But for now, the video is actually dragged on quite a long time, mostly because of all my deaths. But, um, yeah, sorry about all the deaths to that uh, one enemy. With all that being said, I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.